Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own custom KPI card in Power BI. Stay tuned. Okay, KPI card, what? There's some native ones. There's lots of custom visuals. Why wouldn't I use that? Well, you may look at the native visual. You may look at the custom KPI visuals and go, ah, I just want a little more flexibility. And then you think about writing your own custom visual, but you go, I don't know how to write any code. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Right. Or you just need, like I said before, your own flexibility to control the way it looks, the way it feels, how, what's the target or what's the goal. Right. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create it. So you guys know how I like to do instead of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to have two values that you want to compare. So I'm going to compare the current sales amount for the current year to the sales amount for last year. And I'm using very simple DAX to do this. I know when you look at look through this and I'm going to make this PBIX file available and Adam will put a link to it down in the comments below. And so I'm using some really simple DAX. You can improve this and add more. Oh, I don't need a lot of comments about the DAX. All right. So I just want to compare whether or not the current sales that for this year by a particular employee is trending towards or has, you know, exceeded sales from last year. And that's all I'm doing. Okay. So the first thing you want to do when you create your card is let's just show the total sales amount for the current year. So I'm looking at 2015 for Hudson Oslo and I'm going to create, use the traditional card, right? The, the card that's in Power BI. I'm going to format it a little bit. I'm going to turn off the label. I'm going to change the display units to none, and then I'm going to decrease the size down to about 18, right? Just give it a little format. All right. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to have a little indicator, like a little stoplight green if the value is greater than last year and red if the value is less than last year. To do that, you need to write just a tiny bit of DAX. OK, so I created two measures, two explicit measures, one measure for if it's green. So you can see right here, I just say if the total sales amount is greater than the total sales amount from the same period last year, show a one, right? And then I created one for the red. And I said, if the total sales amount is less than the sales, uh, the sales amount from last year, one, otherwise show zero. And you'll see how I use the one and the zero when I set it this up. Then once you have those measures created, you simply add a pie chart to your design canvas. Yes, a pie chart, the best use of a pie chart. And then you take both of those and you drag them into the value section for that pie chart. So KPI green and KPI red, just like that. OK, and then I like to turn off everything. I go to format. I turn off the labels, the title, just turn off everything. And then I go to my data colors and I'm going to say for green, make it green and for red, make it red. OK, and you're probably wondering why. Well, remember, when I created these measures, I said if the value is greater than show a one. And so in this case, for 2014, for Hudson Oslo, my value is greater than. Um, but if I choose something else, the value will be red. And so if I choose, uh, I said been saying 2014, 2015, if I choose 2014, you'll see Hudson number. Um, the pie chart turns red and that's just because of what I did with the DAX. OK, and so now I'm going to make this just a little tiny bit smaller little tiny bit small. All right. Then the next thing you want to do is that I want to do on my card is I want to show like a monthly trend. And so I want to see what the sales are for each month for the given year for the selected year. But I want the bar to be red if they're lower than the same period last year. So that month for last year and I want it to be green if it is, you know, exceeded that value for last year. And so what I did, what you can do is I created a measure that uses a switch statement. So it's always true because I want to return a value. And then I say if the sales amount is less than same period last year, you know, here's a hex color for red. And then if it's greater than here's a hex color for green. And then if it's if it doesn't fall into any one of those buckets, just make it yellow because I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's equal to. OK, and so what I'll do is I use a bar chart here. And our bar chart and we do month. And then we take the sales amount. There we go. And then turn off everything, go to format and let's turn off the X axis, this, the title, turn off everything. And then what you want to do is go to data colors and choose advanced control. And then right at the top where it says format by choose fill value. Click on the, the box right now where it says first month 
and choose where sales or whatever the measure is, that color KPI that I created, the, the measure that I showed you before, select that, click OK, and now you'll see, right, the bars where it's less than last year, it's red. So I put this table here just to visualize it a little bit. You can see the current January for 2014 is 504, and last year was 557. If you look through it all, you can see it, all right? So now I have all the elements to build that card out. So what I did was, I added a little, I just went to home and I inserted um, a shape, which is just a square, and I put a, a border around it, a black border. And now all I'm gonna do now is kind of shrink this down a little bit, as small as I can get it to fit in that box. It's really simple now, right? And it's actually just a lot of little visuals that I'm overlaying in this box, right? So I'm gonna drop this here. So now I'm gonna take my little pie chart and drag it over here. Bam, and just like that, I have my own little custom KPI card. Now, if I choose Hudson Hon uh, Hollinsworth or Jack Potter, you can see how everything changes based on that person. I have my own little KPI card. Or I can choose 2015, or I can choose 2016. You can see it just dynamically updates. What? This is crazy. Patrick, how did you come up with this? I don't know, I just, you know, play with Power BI, I've seen a lot of presentation. And just a lot of cool stuff, all right? So how are you doing this now? Have you ever tried this before? Let me know. You got any questions, comments, post them in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.